You're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial guys, I'm going to show you guys how to create an awesome energy ball effect. So I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now, this is of me, uh, a clip of mine uh, pretending that I'm holding uh, the energy ball. So that's going to be a really simple, you just want to go ahead and pretend that you're, that you're uh, holding this energy ball obviously and then uh, you need an energy ball itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to an, uh, my folder and I'm going to drag in an energy ball I found on YouTube. I'll leave the download link uh, in the description and you guys can download it and use it yourself. So this is the energy ball that we're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new video track and I'm going to drag it on top of the clip where I'm standing with that ball. So in order to um, remove the black background, what we're going to do is we're not going to put this one to uh, the compositing mode to screen because as you can see the ball becomes like really light. What we're going to do is we're going to apply a chroma key on top of it. So change it back to source alpha. What we're going to do is we're going to add in a little bit of brightness and contrast to it because I, I think it has to stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to go to videos. I'm going to try it on and that makes a huge difference. Now what we're going to do the next thing is to go to video effects and we're going to pick the chroma key right here and we're going to drag it on top of the energy ball. We're going to go ahead and uncheck it for a second and then we're going to just pick this pencil, choose a black color, reactivate it again and as you can see there is the ball. But we need to optimize those markers as you can see. So that's going to be uh, pretty simple. Just you know mess around a little bit more until you're happy with it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to resize this ball. So we're going to go to the track motion icon. Then we're going to sh shrink this down until it fits in my hands. So as you can see, if I play back the video, this is what it looks like. And obviously you can make this ball move a little uh, by just going to the uh, event pen crop of the energy ball. Then just, you know, click right here and then just, you know, move it up a little, uh, place a new keyframe right there, move it a little bit down, a little bit keyframe like this. And obviously you can just do that for the whole ball. I'm just going to go ahead and do that real, real quick because for the sake of this video. So then if I play back this video and when I finish uh, using those keyframes, um, I'm just hoping that the ball will actually move, you know, in quite some diff some directions. So I'm going to go ahead and, and replace it like this. So if you play back the video, as you can see, this is basically uh, me holding that ball. And it's moving a little bit, and that's so awesome it looks. So this is how you create an energy ball, guys. It is a pretty straightforward tutorial, I know, and it's probably really short as well. And this is how you manage to get an energy ball. So that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. And guys, currently I'm running a giveaway at home. 150,000 subscribers but at the point when I'm uploading this video it is going to be I think Thursday or Friday um, we we're just a hundred a few hundred subscribers away from 150,000 so I'm so stoked to do this giveaway I'm gonna give away one copy of this program Vegas Pro 15 599 dollars I'm gonna give that away to one of you guys that really need it thank you guys and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video What's up, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in this extra video on Saturday, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I made my videos, how I remove the background, how to cut, how to zoom in. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that in this video. So I would say make sure to smash the like button down below. And I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now, I'm, I just connected my computer uh, to my 40 inch uh, TV, as you can see right here. So it's a little bit easier to follow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys exactly how I edit my videos. So there's always one template I have uh, about Vegas and that is called, that's called Open Up. And what I always have is a few, a few standard things. So obviously what I have is my intro. So anytime I create a new intro in Vegas Pro, uh, like for example, let's fly away, I will include that intro and then I will just link this intro, my real one. <laughs> 
So you guys are all familiar with that one. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have in my project. So you guys have seen the intro, it is really simple, then it just cuts right here. And then usually around this little point, I will start my video by saying, what's up guys, my name is Alex, you guys know how it rolls. And then I have this, as you can see, this lower third. And the lower third is basically a little, you know, uh, animation uh, promoting your social media. Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, uh, Twitch, anything you can imagine. So I always have that one running. And we also have, when I say make sure to smash that like button, I have a really small, like, thumbs up green screen animation right here. And I just time it on when I say it. So that's a pretty straightforward thing. And that's a pretty cool thing as well. And this is basically how I do it. So let's say that we want to have... Uh, our uh, green screen moved. I have also made a few tracks as you can see this is called green screen This is called the video and this is called the audio So on this on this track this long track I will have my green screen footage on the track below it I will have the actual screen recorder You know that so you will you will be able to see Vegas and then right here at the bottom It says audio that's basically the audio of my microphone as you can see so that's a pretty obvious template nothing that's special and then at the very very end we have obviously my outro just alex halford so that's a pretty pretty cool template and i'm going to show you guys exactly how i remove my background so let me drag in a really small clip of me sitting in front of a green screen Okay guys, so as you clearly can see, this is just me sitting in front of a green screen and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do this. So anytime I finish recording a video, it's going to be pretty straightforward. I go to the video effects tab and then I scroll all the way to the C where it says chroma key. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this chroma key. I'm going to drag the default one on top of the clip. And what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that we'll have the green colors. Click on the little blue bar, pick this pencil, and we're gonna click on the nice green part. So if we activate the chroma key, this is how it looks, but I, will, I always optimize this. So I'm gonna bring down the low threshold, and I'm gonna also bring down the high threshold, as you can see. And I'm gonna bring up the low threshold until the background is completely removed. And now you also can say, like, Alex, you have a little corner of the green screen ending in the corner. Well, it's pretty straightforward what I always do. Go to the pan crop, then what I'm going to do is pretty straightforward. Go to the mask tool, and then if I pick the rectangle tool, I will select everything but the uh, the corner, as you can see. So I'm just going to cut away that corner, and this is just basically me sitting in front of a green screen. If I play back the video, this is me sitting in front of a green screen, and that's a really cool thing. So now that I always have my green screen in, I also drag in uh, the audio so this is basically how it looks I always insert my out my intro and then as you can see right now I will just mute this for this mute just track for a second I'm always doing my intro and then as you can see my intro my real intro start this is the pre intro let's say that so we're gonna go to the real intro as you can see with little cloud uh, popping up and this is how I create my intro it is that simple and then I just cut away and I will make sure that the green screen is in the corner how I do that, pretty straightforward, go to the track motion icon and then what you can do is really simple. You can just go ahead and drag yourself down, I'm going to put it like so. And I'm going to put it in the corner and this is how I put myself in the corner obviously, that's a pretty straightforward thing. And then it's, it just works the same guys, drag in your uh, footage, I, record, I just record my videos uh, with OBS, open broadcast software, that's a pretty straightforward and pretty basic program to record. Your videos so i'm gonna drag that in real quick this is just me getting ready in obs right there so i'm gonna just cut it right here until i start with uh, vegas pro then i'm going to cut it what i always do is i just add in as you can see this is just a clip of vegas 14 excuse me for that but it works the same for 15. so what i always do is i would i would like to spice up the video a bit so go to brightness and contrast i have a nice preset that's called uh videos drag it on top of the vegas uh track and as you can see, it adds a little bit more contrast, uh, and that's a really, really cool thing. And this is basically how I do it, guys. This is how I edit my videos. I just time it, obviously, uh, with the face cam, and that's how I do it. I'll just place my face cam in a corner like this, 
and that's how you create and that's how you get my tutorials as you can see so that is it guys i want to thank you guys for watching the batteries also that i need to charge that guy but that's how i do it this is how i made and added my videos thank you for watching thank you for the support i'll catch you guys on monday with a brand new video so thank you and i will see you guys in the next video Alright guys, welcome back to a new video and in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make that awesome iPhone uh, speech bubble effect like, like you guys have seen in the intro. So I would say make sure to smash that like button down below and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now, this is basically the clip that we're going to use. And this is basically a clip that I got from YouTube. I did not animate um, the actual uh, the bubbles itself. I just found a really nice template on YouTube with the green screen So you can just go ahead and remove the green screen re real simple with uh, the chroma key I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that in video in this video So I will say let's get started So as you can see once we have downloaded that video from YouTube when we play it back as you can see Those are the speech bubbles that are popping up on the screen So what we're gonna do the first thing is is it's nice. They're also nicely uh, Positioned so that means that we don't have to do anything anything about it so you can just only add in the text so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the exact same text that I did uh, at the intro so I'm gonna to go to the uh, media generators tab we're gonna scroll down until we see titles and text now we're gonna drag in the default one on top of our clip and what we're gonna do is we're gonna also make the text slide in with the speech bubble so I'm gonna go ahead and firstly type in what, I, what it's going to say in the speech bubble let's say let's make a video then what we're going to do is we're going to make, first of all, resize it a little bit. So I'm going to put uh, maybe 10. And then what we're going to do is firstly, we're just, just going to position this into the speech bubble. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller though, because the speech bubble is not really that big. So we're going to go ahead and precise and put it a little bit like so. So as you can see, that one looks really cool. I'm going to make sure that uh, the, te the text is centered though. So as you can see, when it says Alex make a video, uh, we're gonna just gonna go ahead and make that slide in like the first one. So what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna make sure that we will have the text as long as the clip is. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the uh, this one that is called the event pan crop. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check uh, sync cursor, and we're gonna make sure that this icon is set to move to X only. So we're gonna go ahead and start off by sliding this outside of the screen, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and you know pick frame by frame. We're gonna go ahead and make the text uh, slide in with the speech bubble. So I'm gonna go ahead and move up a few frames. As you can see, there is the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my name and uh, the word is in the speech bubble so I'm gonna go ahead and place it like this as you can see just keep on mask well not really masking but just you know keep with the keyframes keep it up and then you can just go ahead and uh, slide in the text really really simple so I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this move up a, f a frame then place it back in the right position and then we're gonna move up a new frame make sure to position it right move up a frame move up another one and then we're going to just go ahead and do that until the speech bubble is fully in the screen so we're going to go ahead and keep on skipping some frames and once we have keyframed all of this it will look like it is sliding into the screen just with the speech bubble it's a really cool but a really simple technique as well that you guys can apply 
So if you move up a few frames, this is basically how it looks. So if I go ahead and close out for a second, if I play back the video, this is what it looks like. Okay, so now that we got done masking, if I play it back, as you can see, the text is nicely sliding in with the first speech bubble. So that one looks really, really cool. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the second, spe uh, the second speech bubble. So we're gonna just go ahead and create a new video track. We're gonna drag in text file. Then I'm gonna just type in what I answered in the intro, which that is, uh, dude, I'm tired, like this. Uh, it works exactly the same, guys. Just go ahead and uh, and and make sure to position this right. And if if it is uh, not really uh, that readable, you can also make the text black, obviously. So we're gonna do it for the exact same thing for the second one. We're gonna go ahead and go to the event pan crop. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that sync cursor is checked. And then we're gonna start off with the first one. So I'm gonna do this uh, for the entire speech bubble so you guys know how it rolls. I will speed it up and I'll add some music and then I'll come back to you guys when that is done. Okay, so as you can see, I just finished uh, the second speech bubble. So if I play back this video, as you can see, the first one is sliding in, the second one is sliding in, then the other one is sliding in, and then the last one is sliding in. So this is basically how you create a nice conversation with iPhone speech bubbles. It is that simple, just add in your text, go ahead and make the text slide in with the speech bubble like I showed you guys with the if and pan crop. So it is that simple and that straightforward. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. And I will see you guys on Monday with a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial as always. So thank you for the support and I will see you guys on Monday. Just Alex Halford.